Hey everybody, I've had some questions regarding uh, the masking colors used to make uh, your sprites have a transparent background. Uh, this is kind of the effect that we're going for here. So as you can see, uh, I'm using the fuchsia background to make a transparent edge around the character or the sprite. So uh, as we know, the color selections for our make transparent method on our bitmaps uh, are pretty specific and they're unfortunately named so it's hard to uh, know what you're getting. Fuchsia is a nice easy choice and it's a it's a color that's almost never used in GIMP so um, what I'm gonna do is show you how to get that in GIMP and other programs. Uh, the exact value of Fuchsia as we can see in the HTML notation, I got there by double clicking on this uh, color selector by the way, FF00FF and you can just punch that in there. I mean you can you can um, you know choose whatever you want. Um, just type in FF00FF hit OK and you got fuchsia. That is the exact color. Now if your program doesn't have the HTML notation selector like uh, say graphic scale. I love this little program but unfortunately it doesn't have the color selector. I can just double click on my color selector and choose the RGB values. The red, green, blue. Uh, red is 255. Green is 0. Blue is 255. Make sure your uh, opacity your alpha layer is maxed out as you can see over here that's 255 as well so if you change that it might change the the overall value if this is if the colors are off by even one bit um, it's gonna see it as a different color and it will not work see I mean that looks very much like fuchsia but I've changed the value to 38 on the green and if I do that um, you know you can see it and so can Visual Basic. So you definitely need to make sure you have the exact colors. Um, that's really all there is to it. And once you get that fuchsia, that FF00FF, uh, Visual Basic will recognize that and you can set it as a transparent mask. So that's all there is to it. Uh, let me know if you have any more trouble. Thanks. Bye.